In a frontline village on the Svitlodarsk Ark, the engineering group of the Azov Regiment of the Ukrainian military passes by the yards of local residents. And I thought you would not come. We promised we would. After the recent shelling, Maria found a round of ammunition in her garden. I looked at it without paying attention, and when I started to drag it, I noticed. Ukrainian service personnel began to neutralize the ammunition. Everyone here is required to leave, except for the professionals. Is it really stuck? The Ukrainian service personnel gently cleaned the ground around the ammunition. RPG-7 grenade launcher. It is live ammunition. We can't remove it. Disturbing it might set it off. The explosive is left in place, and on top of it, a bag of soil. The detonator cord is held at a safe distance. The explosion results in that kind of crater. The same thing would happen in the house, but that's worse. Despite the fact that Ukrainian military positions are located behind residential zones, the enemy periodically shoots specifically into the civilian area. Neither the elderly or children living here can stop them. The soldiers are called into a neighboring yard. A local resident discovered a suspicious object in her garden. It turned out that it was part of an ammunition. This is a non-explosive part of an anti-tank missile. There are lots of these found here. The Azov soldiers are called to another place, where a grenade hit another garden. How big was the explosion you saw? Wow, if there was an explosion now, we would be killed. The unexploded devices are clearly marked for visibility. The 21st party released in the 90s is a rocket. The shell has to be removed to see the marking. This is Russian produced. The ammunition could go off at any moment. Neutralizing it requires the use of two TNT sticks. The soldiers say that their work here is over for the time being. These explosives will be found for decades to come. Maybe someone will suffer. God forbid, they don't explode. War. There is nothing you can do about it. Missions for the Azov Sapper seemingly never end, and the locals are grateful. They say that their lives depend on the help of these soldiers. Reported from the front line by Ihor Medilian, UATV.